Welcome back to Flick Favorites. I'm going to explain an action, thriller film from 2020, titled Extraction. Spoilers ahead. Enjoy the content. He is the deadliest guy I have ever seen. He jumps from a 66 meter high cliff as soon as he wakes up every day, then hides at the bottom of a lake to meditate and attempt to atone for his murderous life. Carl is the name of the man, and he is a top mercenary on the underground market. He is prepared to kill and determined to do so. There is no assignment too difficult for him to fulfill. Carl receives a fresh six million dollar prize to save a child when he gets home. It turns out that the two drug barons from Bangladesh and India have a long history of animosity toward one another. The Indian kingpin's market has long been wanted by the Bangladeshi kingpin, Therefore when the Indian kingpin was behind bars, Jack was abducted. He then threatened to kill John's entire family if he didn't do all in his power to get him back safely. John used this method to hire Carl's group. It was challenging to enter a poison fortress by yourself and save a youngster. The following day, the crew created a thorough rescue strategy. Carl pretended to be a broker and traveled to the enemy stronghold to negotiate once everything was prepared. Carl deceived them into coming to receive the ransom money after proving that Jack was still alive. However, a buddy hidden in the shadows was the first to assault as they entered a hallway. Carl also used the occasion to murder a different member of his crew. He kicked in the door and pulled out an AK-47 to begin the search. He overcame several challenges with the assistance of his sniper teammates outside. Carl was a fierce fighter who was unafraid to take on the bandits brandishing machetes. Even though there were a lot of them, Carl couldn't handle them because they were too powerful. After eliminating all the adversaries, Carl escorted Jack to a tidy escape. The Bangladeshi drug lord also learned that Jack had been saved at the same moment. He quickly gave the colonel the order to barricade the city and dispatch more soldiers to look for him. After that, Carl took the vehicle to a secluded forested location. He put on his protective vest and then recorded the successful rescue with his cell phone. All that remained was for them to traverse the forest and connect with the river crew to finish the rescue effort. However, they were not prepared for the other party to withhold payment from them. Teammates started to lose communication one after another. When Anna became aware of the situation, she hurried to alert Carl. Carl instantly started to reverse the evacuation after learning that his friends had been slain, but a figure in black quickly caught up with him. Carl was astonished to learn that the man in black was John when he removed his hood. The Indian boss was apparently frozen after being incarcerated and unable to pay his commission. Carl had to be deceived into saving John's life, and John had to meet him halfway. Carl immediately lost his cool upon hearing this, hurled a grenade at John, and then drove all the way to hide in a house. When many police officers discovered Carl's track at that point and started searching door to door, Carl crouched in the darkness and fought with the police. The police officers were quickly subdued by John, but just as they were ready to depart, John resurfaced. They engaged in street combat while brandishing daggers. In only two movements, Carl disarmed his opponent of his daggers before kicking him to the ground. But as soon as John stood up and turned to go, he heard Jack screaming for aid. To murder all the police officers by surprise, John charged forward and fired numerous rounds, but just as he was ready to carry Jack away, the plan was once more foiled. Jack was absolutely perplexed, wondering what the heck was going on and why nobody was coming to help him. Jack was forced to accompany Carl to the car in order to escape, but just then, the police dispatched a helicopter, which closely pursued them. Carl made the decision to leap out of the truck and onto the bridge just then, pulling out a convincing vehicle crash to thwart the enemy's tracking. However, the Bangladeshi boss demanded a citywide manhunt after taking Carl's picture. Carl just taken care of his injuries and then got a call from Anna. 
Jack was instructed to travel alone to a clearing four kilometers distant, where a helicopter from headquarters would meet him, because he failed to pay as agreed. Carl's memories of a youngster suddenly came to him when he learned he had to give up. He formerly had a wonderful family, but his kid passed away at the age of six from an unintentional disease. He had little time to care for his family because he was a mercenary who was constantly on the go. Since his wife had abandoned him, perhaps Jack's rescue will serve as his own atonement. He needs to get Jack out safely even if it's not for the money. A troop of Boy Scouts blocked their path just as Carl was ready to take Jack away. They were young, and they were proficient with their AK-47s. Carl, though, was unaffected by them. Carl saw that they were young and did not kill them. Additionally, the sound of gunshots revealed their location. They entered the foul sewers to escape the helicopter hunt. Carl needed to go immediately, so he had to go to his friend's place. When his other soldiers spotted him, they welcomed him with whiskey but had ulterior motives. He will not only escape punishment if he surrenders Jack to the drug lord, but he will also receive ten million dollars. Carl does not concur. There is a fight, but Carl, who is injured, is clearly not the other party, and the conflict was quickly lost. Jack unexpectedly fired and killed his colleague just in time. Even if they managed to escape this time, how should he transport Jack out of the city and how should they proceed about it? Carl soon had a thought. He chose to get in touch with John since, after all, he too wanted to save Jack. Due to their mutual desire to get the youngster out of the city, the two formerly adversaries came together and started cooperating. They quickly came to the consensus that John sneaks away with Jack as Carl launches a howitzer attack. Carl's firepower being reduced, the two swiftly drove to the border. Soldiers had already barricaded the bridge. They continued to be identified. After assessing the position and strength of the opposition, John made an effort to open fire quickly before the officer could act. Before the opponent could retaliate, he immediately removed his camouflage, drew out his gun's butt, and initiated a roll call. He vanquished most of the adversaries. Carl, though, continued to circle the adversary. Even if the opposite side has the edge in numbers, the combat strength is just average. Carl immediately shot the gunman during the enemy's ammunition change, hurled a grenade into the armored car, and then calmly turned around and made a stylish getaway. The adversary has now dispatched helicopters and begun indiscriminately strafing the bridge. John was injured because of the firepower. Anna finally grabbed the RPG at the crucial second and shot forcefully. Carl arrived at the bridge at the same moment and conducted a surprise attack from behind, killing many troops. Instantaneously, the circumstance changed. The colonel shot directly at Carl, just striking him in the shoulder, since he was so tense. However, Anna had already locked onto his location and shot him first, killing him, just as he was about to fire again. Jack was in front of Carl, who was severely hurt, and Carl regarded Jack as if he were his own child. He stepped up to provide cover for him while directing Jack to run as fast as he could to the opposite side of the river. Jack eventually made it to safety. But a gunshot struck Carl in the neck, killing him. Carl was struck by the same youngster he had first let go of. Carl gave Jack a really loving gaze. His son's picture reappeared in his imagination. Carl eventually passed out and landed heavy beneath the bridge. A person unexpectedly materialized in front of the Bangladeshi drug boss six months later. Jack resumed his regular life as well. He did the same as Carl and meditated in the water. But as he emerged, he seemed to recognize a familiar face. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. In my opinion it's a great action-packed movie. It has a lot of good fighting scenes with well-developed characters. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay updated on future videos. Leave a like to support the channel. 
I hope to see you again soon.